Real snake, professional nose wipers. Real snake, concrete hole swipers. Yes. What's going on YouTube? Name here. I'm back here with another banger video. And let's look. Y'all see today's title thumbnail. It's probably gonna be a lot of new people watching this video. But if you guys see today's title and thumbnail, but today I'm gonna be telling y'all how I scaled my clothing brand to three hundred thousand dollars in my first year doing. Y'all don't know. I'm sixteen years old. I started my clothing brand while I was fifteen. And I started last August and now it's January 2024 and we did crazy. Like literally my first year doing clothing. A lot of y'all was asking me to make a video, all that good stuff. So today is that video, but I'm gonna be giving y'all the exact story. Explain it to y'all how I made $300,000. From my clothing brand and my first year doing this bro yes my first year doing this but i do see bro this is my new camera i got a new camera new lens all that good stuff so we is i did make a huge investment this camera bro oh my bro cameras cost bro do your homework on how much cameras cost bro because cameras cost crazy amount bro been explaining y'all how i made 300k what i did to make 300k all the tools that i use literally everything so y'all can go ahead and scale your brand i hope y'all all learned something from this video y'all all hit that like button subscribe and let's get straight into this bro Yes, real snake, professional nose wipers. Real snake, concrete hole swipers. Yes, real snake, professional nose wipers. Real snake, concrete hole swipers. You're working. I bet so. And we're gonna be going by month by month. First things first, bro. Let's get into like the first month of me starting statement. If y'all ain't know, it's currently 2024, right? I started my clothing brand in 2022, August 2022. My first ever drop was August 22nd, 2022. Yes, I remember that by heart. No, I'm saying I gotta remember. The first couple months was really bad. Like I was, y'all know, y'all know the beginner sales. Feel me? Like you not really getting a lot of sales. You just, you know, what I'm saying. Starting out, you figuring out all that good stuff. So my first few months was like figuring out my clothing brand, like everything that I want to do. I already had a vision on my mind, like where I wanted to be, feel me? So every single day I was just doing something to my clothing brand to make it get better. All 2022, literally I started August. So it was like three months for the whole year. So those three months until 20, 2023, bro, is really when everything, like I really got everything set up exactly how I wanted. Once we got into 2023, bro, my December drop of 2022, I had got, I, I think, by December, I was already at like 2,000 sales in three months. My first three months of my clothing brand, I had, I think I had like 1.8 or like 2,000, something close to that. Feel me? That was my first like three months. It took me three months to get 1.8. And that's still, that's great for you just starting, bro. You just starting, you getting 25K, bro. That's crazy. I, I wasn't satisfied with it because on Christmas, I, I had dropped my beanies and my beanies had did like 800, 900. It wasn't bad. Like, I wasn't complaining. I'm like, yo, this is like, at that time, I thought that was crazy. Like, bro, I got $800 on Christmas Day. Are you serious, bro? So I was really just happy. And at that time, I was using a heat press. I wasn't using an actual manufacturer because I never really had money for an actual manufacturer, bro. All my OGs know, I used to do a heat press when because my father he had a heat press and he had like a vinyl thing so I was cutting the vinyl, heat pressing them on in my basement. All that good stuff. The quality was bad, bro. But that was all because I didn't have enough money for my samples. But I did have enough money for my blanks, bro. Y'all really wasn't doing it like me, bro. Like when I first started my brand, I didn't have enough money for samples, so I was heat pressing it because I had it, bro. I was making designs, I was cutting up. I you you know you gotta stencil the designs, all that good stuff. Y'all all my color man knows y'all know that. Y'all ain't go through that, bro. I was hand making every single piece. My first three drops bro everything i was hand making the quality was bad but i felt in my mind i'm like bro i'm doing this bro i could really do it. a lot of these people got manufactured every day i'm coming home from school because i'm in school at the time i'm coming home from school making hoodies because i was getting like two to three orders a day you know what i'm saying it's some slight but bro that was fire back then bro so i'm getting two to three orders a day i'm doing all this good stuff every day i'm coming home from school but i realized that i can't keep doing this heat press I can't keep doing this i gotta get a manufacturer so i saved up all my money i got from my clothing brand because i think by like december my first manufacturing drop was the beanies so december was my first ever manufacturing drop i dropped the beanies in december those went absolutely crazy um i think i did like 1k in sales that whole entire drop but you know what i'm saying the new year's that i wasn't satisfied with that i'm like bro we gotta go harder we gotta go harder we gotta go hard my whole 300k sales bro playing off of this one drop bro like i'm telling y'all once my brand got the recognition it needed i literally ran with it bro like i was literally like executing it crazy like I'm telling you once you get that little shine on your brand once you get that one good drop y'all gotta keep it bro because that's exactly what i did and i had 300k my first every year i had this one drop plan my fee i don't know my gray hoodie drop uh these hoodies y'all can see it's right here feel me but if y'all know i had there's four colors right there's blue black purple and gray 
So February was my first job was the gray charcoal hoodie job. Y'all know that's my first ever hoodie I job. Y'all can see it on the screens. I'm gonna be putting pictures on the screen so y'all can like get more details. I'm gonna put the sales too. So February was my first ever manufactured job. I was definitely doing pre-order because I had no money. I cooked up this design, I think in December. Y'all see these hoodies. I'm talking about these hoodies. February I did 9K sales, bro. If y'all wanna know how I, I went from 800 sales in December, February I went to 9K, bro. February was like a great month for me, bro. Clothing man wise. I got a lot of, you know what I'm saying, stuff done. And February was my first ever manufacturer job. So you already know how that go, bro. I was mad excited for everything. I'm going to be 100 with y'all, bro. I did not expect this job to be doing crazy, you know what I'm saying, six figures. But the work I had put in, bro, I was putting in that hard work. But I was like, I mean, it might be the next one, bro. Because if y'all didn't know, I had a design already cooked up. But I was just using this drop to make money to get my next drops piece because that piece was really like hitting. But looking at it now, bro, that hoodie that I made, it was really bad. Like these hoodies now are way better than what I would have dropped instead of those hoodies, if that makes sense. So I'm happy I got those hoodies. But you know what I'm saying? Y'all probably wondering, yo, how you get 9K sales, your first ever manufactured drop, bro? I was on TikTok, bro. This was before any ads. I had no money. This was straight TikTok organic, bro. Kept posting videos about how it's my first ever manufactured drop. I was making videos about, y'all can see it on the screen. I'm not gonna play the sound, but y'all can see the video. I was making videos every single day. I, I woke up after school, I came home, I was making all these TikTok videos. I was doing all the, would you buy this? Do you like this? Asking the questions. Bro, my videos was getting the most views my TikTok has ever gotten. I didn't know why. So I was like, bro, like, why is these views? I didn't have a viral video yet. So it's like three days and I'm like, bro, these views are actually going crazy. Like, I'm actually getting a lot of views. I was posting consistently that whole job. I was posting every day. I was posting once a day, every single time of the job. That's why I say on TikTok, bro, don't post. Post every like five times a day. Also knew that I needed something since these were just like puff print star hoodies. I needed something to like make me stand out. So I had a bright idea to do like a Gotham poster. Cause I was into shoes back then. So I already knew it in my head. And I had seen the text. I was like, yo, that's hard. So why not redesign the Gotham poster to my clothing brand so i did that you know what i'm saying y'all gonna be seeing the pictures pop up everyone liked the idea of the Gotham poster because i had got it from nike if y'all know when you buy a shoe on the sneakers app you get the little Gotham poster so i did that once you buy a hoodie you get the Gotham poster and then once you get the Gotham poster you get discounts you people will post it repost it all that good stuff so a lot of people like that so that's why they was buying it more because a lot of people they was like yo that's hard that people was posting it and people was like yo what's this what's this seven days to promote my drop so every day i posted about like eight videos i think nine videos in total out of seven days three days before my drop i'm telling you three days before my charcoal hoodie drop along on a website also i'm gonna give you a tip while i was dropping while i was promo on tiktok my website had an sms thing so people go on the website if they want the hoodie they could sign it up for the drop when you post it on tiktok and you don't got an sms or email list on your website bro you're just missing out on dead customers bro because people will watch your tiktok then okay let me go to the sms let me sign up people wanted my hoodie so they was going on my website signing up on sms y'all gonna see later in the drop all of these drops are literally crucial with sms bro i'm telling y'all sms helped me with all of these jobs so three days before my drop my video went viral bro i'm like bro that's crazy bro in a type of video people was remaking the same video after mine got viral which i was seeing a lot of people do like the same sound the same camera movements like the same idea whole video went viral boom i had my sms open a lot of people i think i had like 2000 sms members and guess how much sales i got i had 9k sales but my first ever manufactured drop 9k 9k and i'm like bro that's crazy. Like now I gotta get, I, I'm having, I got like 9K in the bank. So now I gotta pay my manufacturer. I ain't never paid my manufacturer this much before. So I'm like, yo, that's crazy. 9K, bro. So once I, I close the website, all that good stuff, y'all know, I shipped out the orders probably like a few weeks later. Since it was pre order, a lot of people was waiting. On the drop day, when I was dropping, people kept reposting. Y'all remember, people kept reposting the Got em poster, Got em poster, Got em. A lot of people kept reposting that in a charcoal hoodie. So I'm like, bro, there's no way. Like, I gotta do this again, bro. So while my hoodies is closed, my TikTok is still going up, bro. Literally, the viral video I had was still going crazy, still going crazy, still going crazy while the drop is over. So I have all these SMS members after the drop. I probably, before the drop, I probably had like 2,000 or like 1,500. And then after the drop, I had reached up to like 
5,000 SMS members. Y'all probably like, bro, that's crazy. And also, y'all know when you get a viral video, if you post another video after a viral video, that video is most likely go viral. What I was doing, I was replying to comments, replying to comments, replying to comments. I was replying to the popular comments so more people could come in. I was just keeping a... From that one viral video, I think at least four videos got viral, bro. Literally. That's what I'm telling y'all, bro. Y'all got it. If you get one, one viral video, run with it, bro. Run with it. Run with it, bro. Time to drop is closed. So I got all these people wanting a gray hoodie restock, but I'm like, bro, I got... I, I'm like, I'm already knew in my mind after i got that nike i'm like bro i'm restocking bro i'm restocking y'all love these hoodies so i'm finna bring out the hoodies and that's where a lot of brand owners go wrong bro a lot of brand owners they want to be exclusive there's nothing wrong with being exclusive but with me i want to sell my product bro if my product does good i'm gonna keep selling that good product y'all can see i got beanies here i got hoodies here hoodies is coming more hoodies is coming on the way if your product is selling bro there's no reason you should literally keep just keep it on a website bro people love your, your brand is known for that product people know statement buy these hoodies i'm telling you bro you ask your friend yo you know statement if he don't know statement then he don't know but if your friend know statement they gon' know these hoodies because these hoodies is like feel me these hoodies is the best so after i dropped you know what i'm saying mom already like hold on what colors am i gonna kick up next bro cook up and by the time i already had these colors in my mind but before i dropped anything the only reason i only did the gray drop first is because i didn't have enough money for my other color sample y'all know it was four colors i had to drop one color got the money then I got the other color samples, dropped again. We went up to five figs this time. That's I had restocked in, I think, April. I dropped in the gray hoodies. And then next month, I instantly got the color samples. And when I got my gray hoodie bulk, I got the samples with that bulk. That's how I prepared. I really knew this drop, this restock was going to go crazy because a lot of people were signed up to the SMS list, bro. I'm telling you, those people that wanted the gray hoodie, they either cop the gray hoodie or cop the different color. No matter what, all of them cop, bro. And this was before IG ad, before I started doing ads in general. I haven't done any ads at this point. So my first two drops, all organic, 9K, 20K sales, all organic TikTok off that viral video, bro. I literally took that viral drop, went around, did it again, and did it 10 times better, bro. All it is is rinse and repeat. You learn what you, you know what I'm saying, the mistakes. The mistakes I learned on my gray hoodie restock about posting on TikTok, what works. All that, I use all of that knowledge, and I redid it again on my next drop. That's literally about owning a clothing brand is literally learning, bro. That you gonna learn, 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 and learn, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I literally use what I learned from the gray drop, Applied it again in the next drop, and the sales went even crazier, bro. Y'all know 9K from a 20K difference. And no, I'm 15 at this point. I'm 15 years old. I'm a sophomore in high school, bro. At that time, bro, I was going crazy, bro. The first video I ever posted on a new colors, bro, I think I got like 40K views in like three days, bro. I'm telling you, that video was going crazy. People was loving a hoodie, loving a hoodie, loving a hoodie. I also made a video on it too as well, bro. Y'all can literally see this whole journey on my YouTube, bro. But... April 7th, I dropped. Yeah, I did $6,000 in 10 minutes at 15 years old. Just dropped. I'm recording right now. Everything in Lincoln Bio just dropped these hoodies. You know what I'm saying? 52 people on there right now. Yeah, Gold Cop, Lincoln Bio. You know what I'm saying? Dropped it good. Five minutes after the drop, Gold Cop, Lincoln Bio. These are the hoodies right here. You know what I'm saying? Free shipping all in the U.S. This is just amazing. Gold Cop right now. I opened the site. Yo, gray hoodie restock. Boom. No ads. No nothing. I did not know how to use ads. I didn't know how to, I didn't know if ads worked at the time because at the time, everybody was saying Instagram boost doesn't work. Yeah, I know. I was actually on vacation that whole time I dropped. I was posting promo pics on vacation. Y'all can see the palm trees in the back. The picture's going to be up. Feel me? I'm going to show y'all. 20K on vacation. My pre-orders, it did amazing. I was still posting TikToks every day. I did not forget a day. I made some drafts so I was posting drafts while I was on vacation. Once I got home, I got the bulk probably I think like two weeks later. And then we shipped out those orders. So y'all probably wondering, okay, you got these two drops. How you get all the way up to 300,000, bro? May, there wasn't really a lot going on in May. May, I was just planning on orders because a lot of the orders in April was getting delayed. I was just shipping out all the orders that had got delayed from the April drop. And also, do not do this clip brand owners. I wasn't designing really a lot. I only designed when I was going to drop. So... I didn't have no design planned out. I only had these tees and I think these shorts planned out. But brand owners, no, bro. Make sure y'all design in 24-7, bro. That's the one thing I wish I did in the summer. Make more designs, plan more drops. Because in summer, I probably had like three drops. But May, I was just shipping out orders. Feel me? It's my first time getting a crazy amount of orders. May 22nd, the restock. And once I did that restock, I was leaving the hoodies on the site. I'm like, okay, drop May 22nd, leaving on the site. Boom. This is where the stuff gets crazy, bro. In June, bro, we was up to the five-figure marks, bro. I'm telling you, we went from 20K, 8K, 
to like 60k, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. June, when we started running ads, brands started scaling, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. A lot of brand owners will tell y'all, bro. If you want to scale your brand to the next level, really use the ads, bro. I only need to do these for a few months. I can't just keep remaking the same TikTok. So I decided to kind of do like sort of a new style. So like every video, you could tell if it's me recording. Y'all can literally see the similarities in all these videos started making these videos and i started to do instagram boosts i just literally left it running i was getting sales once a day i was averaging like 800 dollars to like 1.2k a day at the end of school i was just really doing ads focusing on my tiktok ig boost was cooking for me at the time y'all know i was doing a made to order but if y'all do know the hoodies was getting delayed too bro the one thing about made to order is so easy to delay everyone's order be bunch of problems clothing brand owners face you know what i'm saying with shipping long shipping orders being delayed orders and customs june was crazy I was just experimenting. June was an experiment. I didn't drop nothing in June. It was just the hoodies leaving on, made to order. I was testing out all that good stuff. And I realized like, okay, maybe I could do this. What I did to scale more, I kept using the knowledge. And then we started to get into TikTok ads. A little birdie told me, try TikTok ads. Guess how much we did? I'm going to just show y'all so y'all don't think I'm capping, bro. No, the hoodies, the website, the hoodie is on 24-7. Guess how much we did in July? In July, I was leaving it open. TikTok ads really scaled my brand up there, bro. And this not even the lowest month. I was getting a lot of followers. I think I was at like 30K followers at this point. Everybody's copping. I'm shipping out literally like every single week. I'm shipping out orders. That was also when we did my mesh shorts. If y'all didn't know, I dropped some mesh shorts. Y'all gonna see on the screen right here. I dropped some mesh shorts. They did crazy. I actually did a photo shoot and all that good stuff. If y'all wanna watch the behind the scenes to my mesh shorts drop, Behind the scenes to anything, bro. Literally just scroll down on my YouTube. Y'all can see all of those videos. Started making more TikToks. They was going crazy. The sales was going crazy. The same style TikToks that I make, I was showcasing a new tee, I think, this month. And I also did my mesh shorts drop. So all of that combined, $52,000. I used the knowledge in July. TikTok ads, IG boost. I'm posting on TikTok every day. My TikTok account is probably at like 20K right now. I'm saying my Instagram is active. I'm reposting everyone get, getting their hoodies. All of this is off of one drop. And now everyone know these as the STMT hoodie. Made to order shipping problems is crazy. I kept getting a lot of delays. I was contacting everybody. I was getting everybody updates. So all my customers ain't feel like they was getting scammed. August was my biggest month off of the same strategies. Just using it again. Using what the knowledge I learned a lot from ads in June, in July. I even learned a lot from ads in July, bro. Literally, July was going crazy. I learned to add. This is what we did in August, feel me? Saying that number still sound crazy to me. YouTube, I was also doing YouTube. It really helped me with motivation. Y'all probably gonna ask me in the comments, how'd you be motivated through all of it? YouTube, bro. I really, 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 my dream was to become a YouTuber. And I was always recording my journey with my clothing brand, bro. That's why I really love to do both. Like, I really have my clothing brand, but YouTube, I ain't really buying no mentorships, bro. And I, I got it all for myself. So I'm just learning from these ads. I was just repeating the made to order. Me posting about it brought more attention to statement because my videos that I was posting about it was getting views. And I didn't even run ads on those, bro. So... I was just getting viral videos just posting my success off of my clothing brands. A lot of orders kept getting delayed because my manufacturer couldn't. I think I had like a like like a thousand or something orders that month. My manufacturer couldn't keep up with the orders, so a lot of orders got delayed. Also, was starting school too. So the next month, September, trying to learn Facebook ads in September, but I wasn't really getting into all that because I was still working on samples. I was still working on designs, all that good stuff. I don't know why I waited this whole time to make design clothing brand owners do not wait until you want to drop to make your design me now i'm way better this year that's why i really appreciated 2023 next year y'all gonna see how i made a million dollars in one year at 16 years old started to promo my big mouth tees if y'all know i started dropping some t-shirts i started to promo that and i was still on tiktok still on instagram everything running smoothly everyone still ordering it died down a little bit it wasn't an 80k month but it was still up there it was going crazy on ig too as well in october when i was literally just trying to figure out the shipping problems but we got it all sorted out in the end everybody got the order. we did crazy this is when i dropped my big mouth tees i kind of messed up on a few things wrong with the big mouth tees but it's a lot of things i did wrong with that that i learned after that job i had my website closed until like the end of november i had a few orders from september and october so i used that month shipped out everyone's order put out the hoodies again drop went crazy i did I, above five figures on that one i was just doing tiktok 2023 i did three drops this year i'm trying to do i have like at least four lined up already four lined up already for statement for agonize i got like 
10. I swear, I really should have been working on designs, bro. I really should have had a vir another viral product, another good design. Because, bro, if I had two, imagine if I had two versions of these. If you have a viral product, sell it, bro. Sell it. These cities is my viral product, and I love these cities. My brand wouldn't be where it's at today, right now. It wouldn't be where it's at this fast. And I'm thinking about adding more colors to it because I only have four colors. When a lot of people, bro, a lot of people keep asking me more colors, more colors, more colors, bro. A lot of people keep asking me to add more colors. In December, my website was closed. I wasn't really selling that much in December. I stopped doing the made to order thing in December because I was still shipping out orders. I dropped my beanies. Y'all know these beanies right here. I dropped them. If you want to shop, link in bio. I dropped these beanies in December, and I also did a restock of everything on Christmas. So, y'all know, Christmas, go crazy. I didn't drop none for Black Friday, too. That's my one regret. If I dropped these hoodies on Black Friday, I didn't, I didn't drop nothing on Black Friday. My website was closed on Black Friday. So, that's what I really missed out on. But, in total, we did over 300K in sales, bro. Like, honestly, like... One thing to point out, bro, my y'all brand owners know this, bro. One thing, bro, use the knowledge that you get from each drop, bro. Your drop is not an L, bro. Oh, it's a learning process. I learned throughout everything, bro. Even when I had my first 9K drop, I would have had another 9K drop if I just used the same thing. If I didn't learn nothing, it would have been the same amount of sales. I would have never scaled my brand up if I wasn't learning nothing. Definitely design. Stay on top of your designs, bro. That wraps up the year. That was really just a whole journey of my brand and how my brand came up off of these products, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really appreciate all of you guys for all the support. If you ever supported me, if you ever follow me, I'm gonna show y'all my brand where it's at now. This is my account statement. I'm at like four, I'm at 45K followers. And this is where we at right now. We still going strong. 2024 is just drops, bro. This year, I'm really trying to drop a lot. Putting max effort into every drop. So I can't wait for y'all to see the stuff I got cooked up, bro, for statement. I'm not going to just drop one. That is my how I made $300,000 with my clothing brand at 16 years old. 15 years old, really. But 16 because that was that whole year. This was all in one year, bro. 300K sales in one year. My first year doing this. I just explained it all to y'all. And also, if you guys want to learn, I'm going to be putting a lot of my information that I had throughout this whole year in the Discord. But it is going to be paid, bro. So, y'all could pay. It's going to be $40 a month for the Discord. It's going to have stuff like my manufacturers, a lot of other clothing brand manufacturers. Like, literally a bunch of information. Go to the Discord down below. Once we drop the premium, y'all could pay, you know what I'm saying, at $30 a month for all the new people. But... We are raising the price, bro, because the sauce that's in here, sauce that's going to get you rich. Plus, y'all can go ahead and chat with me if I can give y'all tips. It's basically a little community that I'm going to build for all of my clothing brand owners that are watching this video on YouTube. So, if you guys want the information that I use that helped me get my 300K year, first year doing this, a lot of tips literally coming from me. I'm going to go on the Discord, free to join, but you guys can also pay if you want to once we drop. If y'all new, make sure y'all all hit that like button and subscribe, bro. I appreciate all of y'all for watching this video. One more thing before we close out this video, bro. We is about to hit 10k subs, bro. Look how much we at. I'm about to go home and make some mock-ups. I ain't even gonna lie. But hit that like button, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one, bro. Yes, real snake, professional nose wipers. Real snake, concrete hose wipers. Yes, real snake, professional nose wipers. Real snake, concrete hose wipers. You're a rookie. Stay with the flats like a W. Stay with the force like I'll be one Kenobi.